Hello, this is Susan Kelmer. So in my previous video about OmniPage, I showed you how to use the Quick Convert function without ever having to open up the program. If you haven't seen that video, I do recommend you go watch that one before you watch this one. So OmniPage, I have it open, uh, is an optical character recognition program that will take a file, run op optical character recognition, what we call OCR, on that file, um, giving you accessible text that you can then edit uh, to make anything that you like. So when we have a scanned PDF, running OCR is critical. Um, for a well-formatted PDF document, maybe the student is not going to work well with a PDF, we need to create a Word document, we will use OmniPage to convert that file into a uh, text-based file that we can then edit uh, in Microsoft Word. So instead of using the quick convert function, I'm going to show you how OmniPage itself works. Um, there are other OCR programs out there, but I am an OmniPage user, and therefore that is what I'm covering um, in my videos. So when you're looking at OmniPage, it looks pretty straightforward as far as, um, you know, the menu at the top and some nice tools there. But OmniPage has actually set up a process that allows you to uh, run a file through optical character recognition and make it available as a text document kind of all in one step. However, you're not going to uh, allow those steps to complete completely automatically. You will do your part um, in going through this file as well. So I'm never going to go to File Open to open a file. Um, an OPD file is a an OmniPage recognized file that was saved as an OmniPage recognized file. And that's not what we're working with. What we have is a PDF that needs to be turned into text. So I'm not going to use the file open. I'm not going to use any of the tools in this toolbar at all. I'm actually going to use this third uh, set of, the third row, the second row of tools. Um, and I'm going to use this one, two, three. And the one, two, three is it loads the file it runs automatic optical character recognition, and then it saves that file. So it's going to do all three of those steps for me, um, so I'm ready to go. So I'm going to select that 1, 2, 3 button, which then opens up uh, my file location where I was most recently. And we're going to look at this book chapter file, um, which we did in the other video. So I'm going to select this. It is a PDF. And I'm just going to wait for it to do its thing. So it's recognizing those files, and it is done. It's reached 100%. And this here is a spell check. And it's picking up things that it thinks are an issue. And you can edit text in OmniPage, but I don't recommend it. So I always close this. So now we have our file that wants to be saved. Well, I'm not done yet. I want to check and make sure that it actually recognized everything properly. So I'm going to cancel this. Now we're back to our file. So you notice similar to Adobe, it shows um, thumbnail view on the left hand side. And then it has the page image on the right hand side. There's also a text editor tab where it will show you the text you could edit in here. Again, I don't recommend that. There's much more power in editing in Microsoft Word. So what I can do at this point is to look through and make sure that I'd actually caught all of the text. So if we have a document that was, for example, scanned on a copy machine, uh, there might be parts cut off um, or it's crooked. And there's all kinds of reasons, like the, the text is too light of a color to get captured, um, where it's not going to capture everything. And you can see if it hasn't. Um, and you can also see if it's captured things it should not have. So you have two types of, of outlines here. One is in red, and that would be text. And one is in green, and that would be an image. We only have, I believe, just this one image in here. I don't think there will be any more. Um, but this one is pretty straightforward. Now, if I were to save this right now, it's recognized well. I could save this right now. I would save it as a .txt file. But I'm going to go through. I want to show you how it works to remove things or uh, change things. And so over here, these are the only tools I use. Um, the X, which you can click and drag to get rid of something. 
and then the little t which allows me to redraw a text zone. So if it missed some text, I can grab the rest of that text. So let's go ahead just a little bit. And let's say this did not grab the way it should have. So I can remove this zone with the, with the delete key. And using the little T tool, I'm going to draw the text zone back around. And I can do that until I turn it off. So you could separate things if you wanted to. So I've re, uh, recaptured what I wanted to capture. And I just look at all the pages if I'm doing this. Um, sometimes we take out the page numbering, but we have to put the page numbering back in. So I think I'm actually going to leave it there. It's actually easier to do it in Word. So I just want to make sure everything looks pretty good and that this file it has been recognized the way it needs to be. So at this point, I have made changes. So I made paint changes up on the first page, and I made changes on this third page. So this means I need to tell OmniPage to re-recognize. So I can't just, if I were to save it now, it wouldn't have caught my changes. So I want to select all of my thumbnails. So similar to Adobe Acrobat, I'm going to click on one of the pages in the thumbnail view and then use Control A to capture everything. And what I want to do is to have it run that recognition again. So I'm going to click that second button and it wants to know if I'm sure I want to do this. Yes, I am. So it's going to go through again. It pulls up the spell check. I'm not going to do any spell check in here, so I'm going to close this. And it is done. So at this point, I want to save it. And I'm not going to save it. It usually comes up as an RTF. That's its default. Um, but we don't want an RTF. We don't want a Word file. We want a .txt file. And I'm saving this as a text file. Now that I'm done, I can do a file close. It will ask me to save it. Remember, this wants to save as an OmniPage document, which I don't need. I actually have never gone back to a saved document, OmniPage document, so I just don't save them anymore. So that would be a no. So I'm back to my basic page. So remember that other file that we worked on uh, with the Quick Convert, and that was a um, scanned book chapter. So let's play with that one a little bit. So I'm going to hit my one, two, three there and open that second PDF. Now this one's going to take a little longer. And not because it's really any longer, because it's actually shorter. Um, it has a lot more going on in it. So because it was scanned on a copy machine, there's a lot of little extra things going on there that it's going to try to recognize through. So I'm going to turn off the spell check and let it continue. And we want to wait until this gets to 100% up here. And it will take it just a little bit longer. Now it wants to save it, but we're not ready yet, so I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to go back up here to our first page and take a look. Now remember the red outline is words, and a green outline, and there is one right there. This it recognizes as an image. We can delete that. You don't have to. You actually, when you save this as text, it's going to strip it out. But I like to remove them just to be uh, very clear about what I'm doing. So I'm going to delete this one. All I did was click in it and hit the delete key. And I'm going to go through each page and look and see what's going on. Is there something I need to fix? So far, it's grabbing all the text. And this one grabbed that that picture at the bottom, so I'm going to delete that. Let me double check this one. That one's okay. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to remove images. If we want the images in there, we'll put them back, but we're going to do that in a different way, because this will be a Word file when we get done. And I do not have the right one on. I have to have my X on. So I'm going to take this out. And next page. The next page, again, more images, so delete that, and delete that little figure information there. 
Now this page came out oddly. Um, it is upside down. It will recognize right side up, believe it or not, when we look at the text file, it will actually be there. But I can tell right now we're going to have some issues with this page. It's, it's very pale. It's very light. Probably didn't get pushed down onto the glass of the copy machine. So this one's going to be a little messy um, if we have to edit it in Word, which, which we would do. Um, but it's okay this way, even though it looks a little odd, we can leave it this way. The only thing you could do with a page like this is to go ahead and delete the zones to begin with. Redraw that text zone so it's all one which might make it a little bit better once you get it over into Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go through this page we do not need at all. So I can delete the whole page in the thumbnail view using my delete key. And we are at the end. Now if I look at this document, I can see that this actually probably goes to another page but the instructor didn't include it in the scan. So this bottom section of this particular scan probably is not needed. So I'm going to use my X to get rid of everything below that ending paragraph there. So now we're done. Again, I have to select all. So I select one of the pages in the thumbnail view, control A, and I run automatic. And I say, yes, I want you to re-recognize. The spell check is going to come up. I'm going to close that. Yeah, I think it's it's hanging up on that one page that's very pale. So it's taking its time getting through that. There we go. So now all I want to do is save it. So again, we're going to save this as a .txt file. And I actually have one in there I'm going to overwrite. So now we have our text files completed. So if I wanted to see those text files, and we will open up the one we know is pretty ugly here. So I'm going to open that with Microsoft Word. So I'll right-click Open With, Microsoft. Word. Yeah, yes. So this is our this is our text file. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the other video with selecting all of this text and applying normal so at least I can see it. So we know we've we've got some work. It's not great. There's some issues here, but they're showing up easily in Microsoft Word. I don't know how that page is that didn't have the uh, that was scanned upside down, or looked like it was scanned upside down. Um, but I bet you we'll find it and it'll need some work. Um, but anyway, here's your text file that you can work on then to do your editing. So that is how we use OmniPage, the full program, um, to do OCR. And we do only do this on a file that absolutely needs it. Otherwise, the right-click Quick Convert is the way to go on running OCR. Thanks for watching.